On Downing Street this morning came a signal that today would not be the day for the report on the parties. As Boris Johnson left Westminster and headed for the hills. In North Wales, he got to see a quarry and we got to see the Prime Minister in textbook photo op attire. And also answering questions in his own textbook style. Did you authorise evacuating animals out of Kabul over No, and that is absolutely, this whole thing is, is, is total rhubarb. The questions for the Prime Minister are piling up. The latest over accusations he personally approved a charity's rescue flight to get cats and dogs out of Afghanistan at a time when hundreds of people desperate to leave were left behind. I was very proud of what uh, our armed services did uh, with op-pitting and it was a, an amazing thing to, to move 15,000 people out of, of Kabul in, in the way that we did. Uh, I thought it was also additionally uh, very good that we were able to help uh, those vets uh, who, who came out uh, as well. But the, uh, the, I can tell you that the, the military uh, But, you, but always, you didn't intervene, you absolutely didn't. Absolutely not. So, the, military so some, somebody... always, always, the military always prioritised uh, human uh, beings. But the Prime Minister's insistence of rhubarb is after emails came to light that seemed to show he did intervene to help Penn Farthing, an ex-Royal Marine who runs the animal charity Nowzad. On August the 24th, Penn Farthing, who the MOD said had himself been offered safe passage the week before, claimed he'd been cut off by the MOD. I just can't get my head around that. In the early hours of the following morning, Ben Wallace confirmed Farthing, along with his staff and animals, could get through security, but that no one had the right to jump the queue. We now know a letter sent the same day from Boris Johnson's parliamentary private secretary said the Ministry of Defence will ensure a flight slot is available, while a Foreign Office whistleblower has told a select committee that on the same day he heard an official saying that they'd received an instruction from the Prime Minister to call forward Nauzad staff to Kabul airport for evacuation. And then yesterday, a select committee released a letter from the office of Lord Goldsmith that too sent on the 25th of August, saying Boris Johnson had just authorised their staff and animals to be evacuated. We need to get to the bottom of this. There may be a perfectly innocent explanation, but it may be guilty as charged, mayn't it? Yeah. Leader. And thank you, um, Mr Speaker. In response, there was praise for the armed forces and mention of the hundreds of people who were on the flights out of Afghanistan. But then the leader of the Commons said this. And the honourable gentleman is fussing about a few animals. The Prime Minister, we've been told, is getting on with the important stuff. It's business as usual. But he's also 264 miles from Westminster and all the pressure and questions he's facing there. And to many people, those questions are important ones. 